Are you ready, Marcus? Yeah. For the ride of your life. Good morning. Today is a special video because today I'm in Miami, but this video was partly shot in Marbella. So hence the CrossFit and everything in the background. So I'm today I'm at a photo shoot where I'm not allowed to um, film what I'm doing. So that is why we were kind of thinking, what could we do today that would be entertaining? And my first idea was, let's make a video about Marcus. Why is Marcus here? Why is Marcus funny? Why is he good? And why do we get along so well? Yep. And I think the best way to start that video is by showing parts of the clip that Marcus sent to me to get the job from the start. Do we have to? We have to show it. So the whole thing got started with me putting out a blog post saying, hey, I want to start vlogging again and I need a filmer. So shoot me a video and tell me why you're the right man for the job. And then let's watch it. Let's watch what Marcus said to convince me. Hey, Jude. My name is Marcus, I'm 24 years old from Bergen in Norway and I truly believe I'm the right guy to make the new John Olsen video blogs. And I think that uh, the market value of uh, the John Olsen video blogs is much greater than uh, you think because making this to kind of a personal, uh, raw um, kind of daily thing uh, will attract a huge audience um, in the long term. Uh, so I, I really think it's, it's an amazing idea. I'm hardworking, I'm social, I'm easy to get around, I love to travel. Uh, I've been working with cars for a long time, I love to ski. And um, yeah, I'm, I truly think that, that I'm, I'm the right guy for the job. Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. And uh, if you have any questions or Anything, just hit me up on my email and I'll get back to you and I hope to hear from you soon. Have a nice weekend, bye. There you go. So, you shot the video and you were sure that you were gonna get the job? Yeah, I told you, I like, the, the title of the email was like, I'm your filmer or something. Yep, yeah, I kinda remember that actually. You got something in your teeth. Really? You didn't tell me until now? <laughs> I didn't see it. Yeah, I told you I was the guy, right? Yeah, and then I think that I'm like, well, I gotta like meet up with a few of the guys that you know I thought was interesting, and then I was flying to Oslo, and you were um, you were like, oh, I'll come down and meet you. Yeah. And so I met Marcus for the first time at Oslo Airport, and when I met him, he had already shot like out the window stuff, and as we we're walking to the train, he was shooting, shooting, shooting. So like, we didn't really plan on shooting a vlog, but just the fact that you took initiative, and like did stuff. I yeah. was like, nice, I don't have to like think, like yeah, stuff happens. Yeah, that's nice. So that was like probably one of the biggest things and then also that you color graded your stuff. Yeah. Like most of the stuff that came in were completely neutral and I I like things that are perfected and graded. Color graded, yeah. Yeah, so that was a big part of it. And then we hung out for, what, 12 hours? Nothing better than a good old room service. See, this is vegetarian. Yeah, so then, yeah, then we shot a vlog for a day. Um, I flew to Stockholm, you flew back, and then I think I said pretty much right away, like, let's do this. No, you didn't. You said like, yeah, it feels nice, but like, I have okay, a couple yeah. other guys and stuff. Um, so I was running a production company in Bergen, and I was kind of like, not taking on jobs, because of like, not committing to anything, because, I don't know, you could call and be like, hey, let's start tomorrow. And then it... You couldn't ski for eight weeks, so it was like eight weeks of waiting, like... We texted a bit, like, and had some ideas and stuff. Yeah, because I didn't know, like, at that point I'd broken my back, so I didn't know when I could ski again. And back then, to me, vlogging was skiing. So I'm like, finally, I think I'm like, okay, I'm good to go. Like, I'm like, got it. I hope this Marcus guy still wants it. Yeah. <laughs> so then I, I think I texted you, like, hey, like, you want to shoot still? I'm like, yeah, when do we start? Yeah, and then yeah. we flew to Norway. And we started shooting, first day was skiing. Yeah. And then we shot a video. And then we're like, what What do we do second day? 
Yeah, but then we <laughs> went, oh yeah, we did burritos. We're like, oh, let's make a video. Yeah. It was... Because uh, it was fun. What was the... Food and Thoughts. Food and Thoughts, yeah. Second video. It got a lot of views, actually. Yeah, but in the beginning, it was doing really bad. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so then we started shooting, and the best thing, I think, about you is that you came in with the YouTube knowledge. Like, I was watching s ski stuff, and that's like, oh, like, you make ski vlogs. And you're like, no, you got to check out this, like, Casey Neistat guy, and, like, yeah, Ben Brown, and Fun for Louis, and, like, all these YouTubers. And I was very uneducated, because I... It was like I was, I was living in a hole for the last 10 years. So then we started looking at that and I'm like, wow, that's like pretty cool. But every day that seems like a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. And that's 218. 18 days ago. When we filmed this. Yeah. Probably like 221 or something. This is up. So yeah, like that was like the, the whole start of everything. So we basically met each other for 12 hours and then we started making vlogs. Yeah. A lot of people think we're brothers, friends, <laughs> like since we're child. So... Yeah, yeah. we just started and then I think the reason that it works so well is that I want to do everything really good but I think you are almost even a step higher than me like we're the same like we yeah. want to do committed yeah good stuff wait I want to like I want to list the five things that I think are the best with you and then see if I can come up with any bad things number one uh, you are incredibly fast at editing yeah uh, number two you seem to be able to maintain focus like forever. Like he should have said a couple, at least a couple <laughs> days in 200 days, like, no, I'm tired. Like, let's skip a day. Never, ever. Oh, of course not. Number three, just easy, like not complicated. You're like, you know that because a lot of people think like, oh, you guys could argue a lot behind the camera and all this stuff. But I think we're both fairly uncomplicated. Yeah. And you eat anything. So food's not an issue. <laughs> Uh, Sleep wherever and yeah. No, but another thing that I truly appreciate is that, you know, even though I live in Monaco and drive a Lambo, Marcus is never ever once like, oh, hey, like I can get a nice dinner or like whatever. He will always tell me to save money. It's like, hey, Marcus, you want to go up to Nobu and eat? He's like, no, no, we got bread at home. Yeah. And I'm like, that's cool. Like a lot of people, you know, get used to nice things. So that's uh, something I value a lot. And then number five... You make freaking damn good video blogs. <laughs> nice. Oh, and, and six, you taught me how to fly a drone. Well, I like the fact that you have no respect and no fear for this drone. Should I fly? Yeah, of course. My third flight, let's fly over the fjord. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure you think it's a good idea. And taught me to not be afraid. Yeah, and go hard with the drone. Uh, Oh, we can go seven, <laughs> like, always positive, always, like, enjoying everything. And sometimes when I'm, like, you know, too obsessed with whatever, he's like, just relax. Like, look at your life. Like, have fun. Yeah. That's good to, like, get a little slap, like, a reminder of your life sometimes. Yeah. And then negative things. I don't know if I can think of. You're tall, so you're uncomfortable in the Lambo. This is Marcus' first time in a Lambo, and he's, like, kind of a normal guy. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> so I need a hole in the roof. I told Marcus that, all right, we might drive this thing to Marbella, and he's like, yeah, oh, cool. cool, and then he jumped in, and I'm like, seriously? Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, that's Oh, true. yeah, like, good things. He's a very good driver, so I can just, like, here's the Lambo, like, go ahead, do whatever you want. <laughs> trying to think if there's anything else. Can't eat, think. Too, eat too much ice cream. Oh, yeah, <laughs> negative. You made me... <laughs> An ice cream monster. <laughs> My life is complete. That goes on the negative side for sure. Oh, so number three, he doesn't drink coffee. You don't have a coffee buddy in the morning. Really serious negative <laughs> stuff here. Sorry about that. No, but I think uh, I mean, that's what works. Like, I, I feel like a lot of people wonder, like, how does it work when you're in Monaco and you have you and Yanni sleep in the bed and Marcus on the couch? Like, isn't that like... Good morning. How are you guys? Tired. Tired. But no, I think since we're all sort of, we all love to edit photos, video, equipment, and we're easy, like, it works out. And we're all friends. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I think, I think if you would have a filmer every day that you weren't friends with. It wouldn't work. If, like, that would be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> a big problem. I'm trying to think what else, like, and you're good with technical things, so you can help me out with whatever doesn't work for me, because I'm not yeah. technical. Like logging into Skype and stuff. Oh, and 10. Whenever I had business ideas or product developments or whatever, your house. <laughs> or my house. Marcus' brain is very analytical, so his input's super valuable. Uh, I think that's enough. 
I think we should have a look at some of the highlights that we've had over the past 220 days where Marcus has been extra funny. Hello, Marcus. Time to wake up. Marcus, we are in Oslo. Are we? How was your nap? Long and good. But you had a good backseat to chill in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think Team Overkill is trying to kill itself. Team Over... <laughs> what do you think, you have magic fingers? <laughs> of course. What the fuck? Because <laughs> <laughs> this is what always happens to me. <laughs> this never happens to me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't carry skis or you can't start up a drone. Just let me fucking fly! <laughs> Come on! How you feeling? Exhausted. I wanna... You're almost halfway. <laughs> He's still dead. <laughs> They're great. So, Marisol, thank you. <coughs> thank you for the <coughs> <right> fingers. They're <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> super spicy. <laughs> So far, Marisol, you're doing a bad job. <laughs> Get your shit together. <coughs> Mexicans, what is wrong with you? And then do a backflip. This is not standing well. Oh! <laughs> Nailed it! so sketchy. No, it's not sketchy. We have a swan. We don't have a swan. Swan's dead. Oh, crap. Yeah, then it's sketchy. Oh, since we are talking about Marcus and like, how does things work? Does you pay for everything or blah, 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 blah. So the way we work is that we have the channel and we have a percentage of sort of yeah, everything we make or everything that we could make that we are saying no to. <laughs> yeah, mostly. So yeah, if the channel does well, we both do well. And I think that's the key to a good business partnership. Yeah. Slash friendship. Yes. So yeah, like, yeah, so I pay for everything that we do and then we have a percentage cut on... You have a bigger share, yeah. 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 So I sort of, yeah, take the first expense and then hopefully we both win. I think it's a fair and good deal to have. Yeah, no, I think it's, it's good. Now we just want to do fun things. Things that we can say that, yes, this is cool. Yeah, Let's Ascari, talking about fun things, Ascari was fun. That, yeah. was, that was like, that was a good day driving a race car. I'm always petrified going in the passenger seat. <laughs> but I... Are you scared you? Yes! Yeah, do we have anything else? Well, I guess future plans. We have no plans. We're like aiming for world domination, <laughs> making the best vlogs we possibly can, and we don't really have a long-term plan. And I think that as long as the channel is doing well, we'll continue doing the vlogs. Yeah, if, if we, we have a one-day plan. Yeah, yeah, a one-day plan, that's how we work. Um, but yeah, for one year, our goal is to make a vlog every day, and then after a year, we are probably gonna keep doing what we do, but let's say that I go to Miami like I am now, and I'm not allowed to film from seven in the morning until seven at night, then we might take a day off. Yeah. But there aren't that many days like that in a year, so it shouldn't be a big difference whatsoever. But yeah, I think, uh, I mean, if you guys have any questions, just hit them up in the comments and we'll try to... Yeah, I'll try to, to answer some comments, actually. Yeah, and we think I think that we should have Marcus more in front of the camera because <laughs> I like to film more. <laughs> I like to film as well. So yeah, let's... Uh, it's a good balance. Let's um, just aim for many more days to come and many more fun adventures. World domination. Are we, we are not synced enough to like... And then we do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow and hope you enjoyed our little different vlog today. Yep. I enjoyed it. It's fun. Yeah, me too. So... Uh, Ciao. No, we're in, we're in the oh. States now, remember. Uh, good so, night. Good night. Have a great <laughs> night, guys. Peace good out. Night. I'm in Norway. Oh, yeah. <laughs>